Now, once we understand how to finish the process of the middleware, let me just send the response. And as a response, we are going to send these static files. Up here, I'm going to just say response dot send file. And in the send file, I'm going to specify the path of these files. When you specify the path of these files, so in the double code, I'm going to say dot forward slash static and then specify cool dot txt. So when you call this middleware, it's going to return this file. But this is not the way you send a file to the user. What if the user don't need this cool.txt file? User need this pixel.jpg file. In that case, you need to create another middleware. Just get rid of this statement. And now let me show you how you can serve the static file to the user. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to check here in the middleware, I want you to check if the requested file is exist in the static directory or not. If it is exist, respond with the file. In the code term, this is a call to response.send file. If the file doesn't exist, continue to the next middleware in the stack. In code terms, this will just call a next middleware. Now let's turn this requirement into code. We are going to use the node built-in module called path. This module helps us to get the path of the requested URL. To determine whether the file is exist or not, we are going to use this module. Let me just show you how you can use this module in this middleware application. So just out of that, just out of this middleware, I'm going to create here another middleware. I'm going to say here app dot use and create a function inside it and to this function i'm going to specify request and response parameter with next function now you can notice we have two middlewares inside this application once the process of this middleware finish this will call the next function and execute this next middleware so inside this middleware i'm going to just simply create a variable bar file path and i'm going to specify equal to sign and here i'm going to say path dot join i'm going to call a method of path module and here i'm going to specify double underscore directory name as you know this variable is going to return the project directory name so this will return this middleware app as a result just for that i'm going to specify comma and join my next path so here in the double quote i'm going to specify static this folder name and just after that i'm going to specify comma and say here request dot url i'm getting the url from the user when the user specify URL inside this URL section, I'm going to get that URL inside this URL variable and create a path of the requested file. So just out of this statement, here I'm going to say fs.state and inside it, I'm going to say file path. I'm going to specify the file path as a first argument and then call a callback function and specify error as a first argument and file info as a second argument. Now, if there is an error, while reading the file, I'm going to just say here next. I'm going to just move to the next middleware and return from this method. And just out of that, down here, I'm going to say if in the parenthesis, I'm going to specify file info dot is file. So I'm going to check here if it is a file, then execute this if statement. And inside this if statement, I'm going to say response dot send file and specify the file path like this and just for that here i'm going to say else statement and specify next so if this condition return false just move to the next middleware function that's it save the changes now let me explain this middleware so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call here path module to create a path and call here a join method inside the join method i'm going to call directory name this will return the project directory name then i'm going to specify the static folder where i'm going to have all the static files and then i'm going to say here request dot url so this variable will return the user requested url i'm going to join all this path and store it in this file path variable just out of that i'm going to call here fs dot state method and inside it i'm going to check if if it is valid path then i'm going to execute this callback function and to this callback function i'm going to pass error and file info parameter so if there is any error just execute this if statement and exit from this method and if there is no error I'm going to just get all the information of the file using this file info variable. So here I'm going to say if file info dot is file, I'm going to check if it is a file, then just return it with this response dot send file method. And as a parameter, I'm going to pass this file path. And just for that in the else statement, if it is not a file, just move to the next middleware. Let me just save the changes, open the browser. So let me just request this cool dot txt file. So I'm going to specify here forward slash and say here cool.txt. So I'm going to just request this file 
to get the data of this file. You can notice I'm going to have a data of this file as a result. So this URL will send the data of this file to the user. Now let me just check for this app.json file. Here I'm going to say app.json and press enter. When I press enter, you can notice I'm going to have the data of app.json file. Let me just request for this pixel.jpg file. So here I'm going to say pixel.jpg. When I press enter, as you can notice, this will just send me an image as a response. Now what if you request a file that is not exist in your server? For example, if I see here pixel1.jpg and when I press enter, you will get an error message, cannot get pixel.jpg file. Now let me just solve this problem. So let's add a final middleware that can handle this problem. So let's add the 404 middleware handler. The 404 handler shows the next listening is the last function in your middleware stack. It always send an 404 error no matter what. So I'm going to back to my editor and down here at the end I'm going to say app.use and here I'm going to pass a function with request and response parameter. Here I'm not going to specify next function and inside it I'm going to specify response.status and in the parenthesis I'm going to say 404. So this is the error code and then I'm going to say response.send and in the parenthesis I'm going to say file not found. If you want you can return a template as well as a response. You can notice here to this middleware I did not specify this next function because I already specify here response.send method to end this response. Now this middleware will execute only if the file is not found in the URL. Let me just save the changes back to the browser and just reload it. When I reload the browser, so you can notice this will just return the 404 error message. So if the user specify any invalid URL, he will get file not found error message. This middleware is very useful when we work on the big project when the user specify invalid path in the URL. So now if the user visit the URL that doesn't have a corresponding file, you should see a message file not found. You will see this message every time when you visit the URL you doesn't have. Now for a moment, let's try moving this middleware at the top of this file. So let me just cut this middleware right from here and paste it at the top up here like this. I'm going to just make it the first middleware in the stack instead of the last. Now let me just save the changes and reload the browser. You're going to see a message file not found because we don't have this URL. So let me just specify the URL that is valid. Here I'm going to say pixel.jpg. When I press enter, you will get the same message file not found. If I say here cool.txt, you will get the same message. You can notice here if you just put this middleware at the top of your file, you will get the same message. This will always execute this middleware. If you return your app, you will see that you will always get 404 error message no matter what you specify in this URL. The order of the middleware stack is very important. So make sure your request flow through in a proper order. Let me just get rid of this 404 middleware right from here and paste it down here at their position. So I hope you creating this simple application, you understand how to work with middleware in node application. Next, we are going to create a simple logger app.